Hi guys, it's uh, Michelle from Fibro Hell, and I just had a thought that I wanted to put out there. I was watching a movie and someone died, and they said, well, were they in a lot of pain before they died? So when people are ill, they worry about if they were in pain before they died, but they don't give a shit about those of us that wake up crying every morning because we're in pain. I don't understand that. I mean, don't we deserve some type of research? Um, I think that the medical community makes too much money off of us because we usually start out with a pretty hard stomach ache, and then maybe your pituitary gland will act up and you get a prolactin test. And then you go to your gynecologist, and then you go to a pain specialist, then you go to an endocrinologist, and then you go to a rheumatism doctor, then you go back to your general doctor, and they're all looking at you like you are crazy. So they're basically making so much money off of us going from doctor to doctor, and every one of them are going to try us on antidepressants, which they may help for about a minute or two, maybe a week or two. Then we have to get off of them because we can't function. Then and they put us on something else and that take us three, three or four days to get off of so we can function. So why would the pharmaceutical companies, you know, do anything about fibromyalgia? They've got Lyrica now and I want to warn you guys against it. Lyrica gave me a stroke. I'm a 42 year old woman and I had an ischemic stroke and I'm also an artist and it put my brain in a box where I couldn't reach it and that's why I had to get out of there. So you know, I got a comment that I ramble a little bit. Uh, it wasn't by any of you guys that have fibro, of course. It was by somebody that watches 8,000 videos but's never done one of their own. And who knows if they even have fibro or not. And, you know, you got to realize everybody has a stage of fibro. You know, when I was 25, it was manageable. Um, then I got in a car accident and got worse. Well... Five years ago, I was riding my Harley, and this woman wanted to make a U-turn and didn't see me. Broke the whole left side of my body. And since then, I've been totally physically disabled. And I wake up in the morning. Oh, wait, let's clarify that. I wake up ten times at night in pain, and then when I wake up in the morning, I don't have to get up and do something. I've got to take a pill before I even go to the bathroom and then wait for it to work and then try to find some strength somewhere to take a shower and get to the place I mean I've been trying to go to this yard sale all day because I need to buy a bed I've been trying since 8.30 and it's uh, 1 o'clock so you know it's just amazing to me they always say when somebody's done were they in pain guess what guys that don't have fibro we're in pain 24 hours a day. Sleep, at least we don't know about it, but then we're generally dreaming about something. We still get hot flashes. We still got to wake up three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine times a night. But we're not worth studying, are we? It's okay to take uh, my body parts out as a hysterectomy at 40 years old, even though they didn't need to. And then they didn't even study it. I mean, Come on. You know, we've got to get together. We've got to get some legislation going because, you know, nobody's going to do it for us. There's not a national spokesperson for fibromyalgia. Um, I guess I'll have to, like, make a hit record or something so I get famous enough for somebody to listen to us because no stars are stepping forward like Michael J. Fox with MS. So, we got to do it on our own. I'm going to develop a questionnaire, and I hope all of you guys will tell me what's going on. And I'm going to write a letter, and you can send it to your own Congress people and Senate. I know they don't give a shit, but anyway, we can try. There needs to be some funding for pain management because people are killing themselves. You know, somebody just might just rule it as a suicide without even thinking, oh, maybe it was because they were in pain every day. Anyway, don't want to ramble too much to offend some of you people that like to just sit and watch videos, okay? But fibro help people, we gotta, we gotta back each other up. We gotta do it ourselves. This is fibro hell Michelle. <laughs> 
I'll see you guys soon.